Steve needs new faces, but can he find some hidden gems? And I know a Cleopatra who loved Amethyst would be really grabbing at this. Who can sell the Bennett way and keep the money rolling in. Morning, morning. Morning. How are you? Hi, Sean. Lovely to see you. So, where do we start? So you all want to be presenters, which is a good start, good place to start. So this is Gems Gallery. So Steve has launched a search for new faces. From hundreds of applicants, he's screen testing nine hopefuls. For, for me, the smile's the most important thing. The ideal person is the person that if they moved in next door to you, you want to go around and have a coffee with because they're just nice people. I always say, if people aren't watching, then they can't buy. Everything you ever buy in life, it's about emotional attachment to start off with and then you rationally conclude the sale. Jewelry is one of those things, it's all about getting across the perceived value. It's never about price. It's only about the perceived value. I don't normally do chains for £10. And it takes me three to four months to train somebody before we can put them on the television. There's a lot of pressure on the presenter and the producers uh, that are in their earpiece to actually perform, and perform all the time, and to sell all the time. The pressure is on. Each of them has just 10 minutes to prove they can deliver what Steve wants. We've just dropped the price to £39. How good is that? £39. I know, I know. I mean, I am shocked by it. In the conference room, the auditionees await Steve's verdict. So, going through all nine of them, I thought the guy was absolutely great, but probably a bit too salesman-y. And then the one that had done some tele shopping before, that sold the karaoke machine on, on, on QVC, but she's been around TV shopping, so straight away she understands it. Probably the, the one that will need the least work, the high achiever already, uh, very bubbly. I think you'll have no problems there at all. Out of the nine hopefuls, Steve has chosen three to come back for a second audition. You've found three rough minerals, let's see if we can cut them into gemstones. That's what we need to do now. <laughs> At the Bennett's shopping TV station, the search for new talent goes on. From hundreds of applicants, three would-be presenters now face their second screen test. This time, it will be broadcast live. You are selling to thousands of people, literally, potentially millions, but nobody wants to feel like they're one of a million. Do you all understand the format of how we kind of sell? Present like you're selling to your mom and produce like you're selling to your nan. Jake is the head of the American channel and is about to marry Steve's eldest daughter. He knows what the family needs. You wouldn't shout at your mum, though. You wouldn't yell at your mum, yeah, you've got to buy it, you've got to buy it. But you would be passionate. It sounds so simple, it's very, very difficult to do. But sell to your mum and you'll be doing a brilliant, brilliant job. Now, I'd like to introduce the first of our hosts, this is the lovely Sherilyn. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm excited. I know everyone at home is excited as well yeah. to, uh, to meet you. <laughs> Sherilyn will be back with you just after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is the deep end. The auditionees will get their first and possibly last TV experience live for 20 minutes to America. Hi, so I'm Sherilyn and I'm the first um, of your auditionees here. I'm um, going to be trialling out for this new show, so it's really great to see you. OK, so this is the piece I've been most excited about because this is a Tanzanite. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. What's your headline? Uh, Talk about this particular piece. Uh, my favourite, favourite pieces of Tanzanite and it's the rarity of it. I mean, we only have six. That is right, we only have six pieces available, only six. These will be flying out the window and this might not be coming up that soon again. So you only have six at $89.99. That has gone. People well done. Wear this. Brilliant work. Want this cut of diamond, this beautiful one. So if you have missed out on that, then, you know, good luck on the next pieces because it is beautiful. Wasn't she fantastic? <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> it's February. Steve has decided to gamble on a new gemstone the very orange specitite. The first delivery of cut and polished stones are in the system, and he has two new presenters. Here we go, $14.99 for a 7.47 carat. Just under 300.
$100 for you and only a few opportunities left. Launching a new gem is a crucial time for Steve. With so much at stake, he needs to create the perfect story.